But um, what happens is they grow this on wood, um, and then they mice the wood mycelinates, the, the white fuzzy stuff underground is the mycelium fungus, and that takes about two years to mycelinate, and then this fruiting body comes up. And this is the sexual apparatus of the mushroom. This comes up, and then uh, at one point they expose it to more light and oxygen, and it causes this cap to form. And then what happens once the cap is mature, the spores actually come out of the bottom, this polypore surface. The spores come out of here, and some diamagnetic energy causes them to flip around and land on the top. And so they come out and they go around like this, and it forms a, a, a film here that can be like an eighth inch thick, a powder, brown powder. That's the spores. And the spores are a microscopic uh, seed of this mushroom. And then one day, one morning, uh, all of a sudden, it's as if the mushroom goes like this. Just go like that. And the spores go and go into the air. And they drift up and out and they go everywhere. We have, we have spores of these you know, all over us, all over the ceiling, this place, all over every single thing, all over this earth, all over the cosmos. These things go drifting out into the cosmos. They have seed some consciousness somewhere else. But I do believe they are a seed of consciousness somehow. And um, so the spores are really uh, resilient. Uh, it's, it's difficult to consume that. Uh, there are, you can get spore oil that's cracked and get the oil out of it. But I just believe in the, the fruiting body is the part that's uh, the most potent. It's usually most potent right before it sporulates, when effort comes up and it gets this shiny surface. That's what they call a Ganoderma lucidum because it's shiny. And then right at that point, you harvest it and you take the fruiting body. So if you look for reishi products, which I have in my products, is uh, you look for fruiting body uh, of red tree-grown wild, wildcrafted reishi, and that's the best stuff. Uh, there are other types of reishi. There's black and purple reishis and everything else, but I like the red one. I think the red one is, at uh, an evolutionary level, that's the one that is taking, we should take now because it goes to the heart shell.